Hello guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech and in today's video guys I'm going to be bringing back the PC builds for November slash December of 2015. So as you guys might know the PC builds uh, just include the raw hardware to build the PC and yeah it doesn't include the OS uh, stuff like you know monitor, keyboard, mouse, or stuff like that. So uh, yeah it's just the physical hardware and what I do with these PC builds is guarantee compatibility with all the parts if you guys are you know wanting to you know to actually you know uh, you know, go out and buy all these parts. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I do guarantee that every single component will work with each other, and uh, that, if anything, gives you guys peace of mind. And uh, that's exactly what these videos are for. As always, all the links will be in the description. There'll be Amazon US and also UK links. So uh, yeah, check them out if you want to. Uh, yeah, save yourself some time setting up the parts. Anyhow, for this build, uh, for the CPU, we are grabbing the AMD Athlon X4 740. That's a 3.2 gigahertz quad core chip. And then for the graphic card, we're going to be grabbing a GTX 750 Ti. Which, to be honest, that card is pretty damn fast for the low amount of money it costs. So. Uh, yeah, 750 Ti, that thing can game, and yeah, for 90 quid, that is uh, quite a bargain. Anyway, let's kind of get into it, and uh, yeah, let me guys show you what I've shown for the £300 gaming PC. So to get started, for the CPU, we're going to be grabbing the AMD Athlon 2 X4 750K Black Edition Quad-Core Processor. Now, this processor runs on the FM2 platform, so motherboards are going to be pretty damn cheap. Now, the frequency this processor runs at is 3.4 GHz and has a turbo frequency of 4 GHz. With it being a black edition processor, you can do a little bit of overclocking. The processor, ha the processor has 4 MB of cache and supports RAM all the way up to 1866 MHz. Now, even though this processor is pretty damn cheap, it will uh, definitely be able to keep up with the GPU we are choosing for this build. Now, as for the motherboard, we're going to be grabbing the Gigabyte GA-F2A55M-HD2. Now, this board runs on the A55 chipset, so it supports the AMD Athlon series of CPUs. Now, as for the specs, it has two DDR3 DIMM sockets for up to 32GB of RAM. That can run up to 24MHz. As for PCI Express slots, that has one PCI Express x 16 slot, a PCI Express x 1 slot, and also a standard PCI slot for legacy cards. As for SATA connections, it has four SATA 3 gigabit ports for your hard drives and also supports RAID 0, 1, 10 and also JBOD. And lastly, USB connections, it has eight USB 2 ports, four via the back panel and four available through two internal USB headers. Now, we have also checked driver support and it does support all the way up to Windows 10, even though this board is pretty damn old, but nevertheless, will work fine for this build. Now as for the RAM, we are grabbing 8GB of HyperX Fury memory, nothing special, 1600MHz DDR3, cast latency of 10 and does have some pretty nice heat spreaders, we'll move on. As for the hard drive, we're going to be grabbing a Seagate Barracuda 1TB internal drive, as again nothing special with this, 1TB capacity, SATA 6 gigabit connectivity, 7200RPM and has 64MB of cache, there we are. Now onto the exciting bit, the GPU. So we're going to be grabbing the EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti. This thing has 640 CUDA cores running at a base frequency of 1020 MHz and also will boost, if the temperatures permit, to 1085 MHz. This GPU does have 2 gig of VRAM, delivered via a 128-bit bus. And I will say, the monitor support, it does support up to 3 monitors. So uh, yeah, if you guys don't want to plug multiple monitors in, you can. And as for dimensions, it is, a, it is uh, 17 centimeters in length and is also a dual slot card. One thing to note is that the power draw on this card is 60 watts, so yeah, there'll be no need for any PCI Express power cables. As for the case, we're going to be grabbing the Fractal Design Core 1100. This is a compact micro ATX case supporting both mini ATX and also micro ATX motherboards. In this case, it has two 5.25 inch bays and also two 3.5 inch hard drive positions. You can also mount three uh, 2.5 inch SSDs if you don't want to use the hard drives, or you can mix it up and have a hard drive and also an SSD installed. Now, the case at the back has four PCI Express expansion slots, and as for, yeah, kind of the clearances for your GPU and your CPU. CPU. The maximum graphic card you can have in this case is 350mm in length and as for the CPU colour, 148mm in height. There we are. Now this case does come with one fan included and this is also a filtered fan but you, but you do have um, you know room to fit another two fans in as it does have three fan positions in total. Now moving on to the power supply, we're going to be grabbing the Corsair CX430M. Very renowned for being a very good cheap power supply by Corsair. 430 watts of clean power, it is bronze certified and yeah, you do also also get sleeved cables which are black and yeah Corsair see these are low profile even though 
Yeah, to be honest, I think flat cables are, you know, somewhat low profile, and these ones aren't. But nevertheless, yeah, you're getting a very nice power supply here. It does have uh, one PCI Express connector, even though, as I said, the GPU doesn't require power. But if, you know, you always wanting to upgrade in the future, this uh, power supply will enable you to do that. As for side eye connections, it has four, um, same as the motherboard, so you know you can plug up to four hard drives into here in the future. And uh, yeah, that's about it really. It comes with three year warranty and also a 120mm fan to keep the PSU cool. Anyhow, time to conclude. So guys, there we are, that was the £300 gaming PC for 2015, late 2015, shall we say. So yeah, there we are, there are all the parts. I will say this build uh, will be able to game pretty damn well, a GTX 750 Ti is a, it's, it's not a bad card and at £90 you are definitely able to, you know, definitely going to be able to play the games that you want to. Uh, yeah, you know, fair enough, probably not at the highest settings possible, you know, it isn't a very high-end card, um, but it will game. And yeah, if you guys are, are wanting to get into PC gaming, uh, this £300 um, PC build is pretty damn good for the money. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching as always. Uh, the links will be in the description as mentioned at the beginning. And uh, yeah, without further ado, thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment and also subscribe. And yes, I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.